Hi everyone. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. First, <laughs> how are you? All good. So let's begin with today's topic, which is polarity. Today, I think that is really much easier. <laughs> Very easy. So everyone who has seen the previous videos, you will know where it came from, this image. So if you don't, just um, look into the other videos to see <laughs> this the explanation. Um, <clears throat> well, um, because I will try not to explain everything again. So remember, from one idea of the mind emerges the next, a question and an answer. In this mind, in the origin of this idea, emerges two things, question, one answer. And the interaction between this question and an answer is what we call correspondence. Hmm? So here we have the mind. The mind from the internal makes a question. So this question goes outside to look for an answer. Hmm? So remember, this mind makes a question. The question has an answer. But this answer has creates a new doubt, so a new question. And this question has another answer and so on it starts to repeat constantly and they communicate constantly in question answer question answer hmm? that's what we call correspondence so this here is what creates this <coughs> wave of question answer question answer question answer and we can see that as a vibration okay entonces tenemos acá la Vibración. So here we have the vibration. So these waves, these curves here in the wave, are the ones that we call frequency. And this frequency is what we will call rhythm. Hmm? We have here that this cause, the cause of this positive generates an effect in this negative. And the cause of this negative generates an effect in this positive. And so on, it repeats in cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect. See? Why? Due to what do we have correspondence, rhythm, vibration, and cause and effect? Is because of polarity. Polarity. So nothing that may, that you have here would exist without the concept of polarity. So what is polarity? Polarity comes from the word polos, that means axis. This is what polarity means. Polarity means the quality of being in the axis. Polarity will be this harmonious axis of a movement that we call consequence, remember from yesterday. 
So the consequence, what is the consequence? Is an attribute of being harmoniously in your own axis. And what is an axis? Is a polarity. So the only way in which you can be in your own axis and to be coherent is only thanks to polarity. Polarity is the one that allows the continuity of things. So why polarity has such a bad press? So this polarity is thanks to this polarity that the earth moves. If the earth doesn't move, there's no transformation. With no transformation, there is no evolution. With no evolution, there is no life. This implies that everything exists because of polarity. A human have also polarity. To that circuit of polarity in humans, we call it Kundalini. We look into this like a, <coughs> like a snake. That's why we call it Kundalini. But what it really is, is a wave of polarity. So one of the currents go down and the other one goes and the other ones go up. So one of these forces goes down, putting the energy down, and the other one goes up, pushing the energy up. So that creates like a vortex in the center that we call chakra. There would be no chakra without polarity. Si no hay chakra, no hay humano, no hay alma. And if there is no chakras, there is no soul, there is no human. So we have a positive over our heads and a negative below our head. And that's what creates the movement of the energy. So then you can call it whatever you like. Because in every culture, every religion, you have a different way to call this. Let's go to an organic polarity born from this system. So everyone knows this symbol. OK, triangle up, triangle down. Positive, positive. Okay. This is called tetrahedron. Uh, like this. Oh. <laughs> uh, now you got it. <laughs> See? So this is a tetrahedron, okay? Now you can see the 3D shape of this. Okay, kind of there. So we have this other one down there. So this means that one will go up, the other one, one the up will turn to one side, and the other one down will turn in the opposite.
here we have like a little person that would be like the Vitruvius man. Okay, Da Vinci. But now let's go to something a little bit more organic. For a lot of people, the masculine in the positive and the feminine in the negative. Why? Because the positive goes out, take the energy out, and the, and the, and the feminine takes the energy in, goes inside. Easy to understand it. This is ejaculation, this is, which takes five minutes, and this is gestation, months. So now you get it, <laughs> basically. Let's do something very Roman. We have here something very familiar. So what is this? Ovaries and uterus. Todos lo conocen, no? You all know it. So, positive, negative, masculine, neg uh, feminine. Hmm? Okay. So, geology used the poles to be able to move and transform itself. Biology uses this polarity to be able to follow and keep, keep going through these waves. And a self that is working with, the, with its own energy, what it does, it uses its own energy for the activation of the Kundalini. Hmm? So through the concepts of nothing, void, and the everything, through biology, through geology, through spirituality, through everything, everything is polarity. Because without polarity, there is no a continuous movement. And if there is no continuous movement, there is no life. So what happened when this little person has its chakras and is trying to connect, but suddenly appears this other tiny person around. And this person starts to get in love with this person. So this person also gets in love, activates this chakra. So suddenly, the vibration that once was like this starts to be like this. So this one starts to get connected with the other one in the same vibration. So this one is in, is in a spiritual path. So it's looking for a higher vibration. So this person doesn't have this same high vibration but this person has this one, the lower one. For this person to be con connected with this other person and be in love, this person must low down its energy, its vibration, so it could match. So it lowers down the vibration. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to do something really worst. And this third person comes and has a better vibration with this one here because this person here is trying to do so much work in order to get to this one
<coughs> and these ones vibrate the same level here. So the love is stronger because there's something that we call resonance. <laughs> no? So what happened here? Now I have a broken magnetical field I, I am not being able to handle. I was in such a high vibration here. This person was in such vibration here that doesn't know how to handle the low vibrations, which means this person had no idea how to handle the emotions. So for this person, it was really easy because it doesn't have a toroid very well shaped. So this person only say, Bye. What is broken here? The flux is broken. Hmm? The flux is broken. So it cannot be polarity with a broken field. There is no right party. There is a codependence of energy from others. And this is the system that we call duality. So this is polarity, and this is duality. When a person becomes duality, when that person cannot find its own axis and depends <coughs> on other people, Duality means that I divide myself in two. I cannot find my axis, so I divide myself in two. And with this person, I am like this, and with this person, I am like that. This is what we call bipolarity, which basically is every human that has culture, that is not being able to be in its own axis, is bipolar. We are all basically bipolar, by culture, because in culture, Everyone was taught to be different with one person and to act different with another person. That's bipolarity. Of course, it's bipolarity, which is a pathology, of course, which is another thing. That is the last step of a really bad bipolarity. But mainly we all are. A person that is in the axis, it doesn't matter where or with whom, the the person is, is always the same. So duality would be the concept of not having an axis. So I am like a pendulum going from one side to another. So this example that I gave with this people in love, is what happened in every level of our world. And that's why we say this world is, is in duality. The reason why this world is in duality is because we are not finding our axis. Because polarity is nothing negative. It's precisely to find your axis. Duality would be this moment in which I break my axis in two. So I move horizontally looking for the energy of others around and not within myself. So this is why the law of polarity is the one that tells us that we are all 
beings creating constantly movement. Of course, we could be for days speaking about the law of polarity because it's the one <clears throat> that has so many things to talk about. But I guess this is the basis of it. Just to close this idea, um, how can I find again this axis and to use the polarity? Well, basically, to tune yourself again. And how do you, how can you be able to tune yourself? Well, that's your thing. This is your way. Everyone, each one of you has your own way. So maybe for some, is a therapy for some is like um, uh, changing, recognizing the uh, different way of doing the things by will, by love, by faith. I don't know. <clears throat> the only clue to that is that to tune yourself into a different or a higher vibration to be in your axis, basically you have to synchronize yourself to something that makes you feel good, that makes you feel fine. So I can I can do whatever. I can go to any therapy to work with anything if you want. But if once I finish the therapy, I go out and I do exactly the same as before. Emotionally, this is like uh, like going to a doctor to make a diet. And once you leave the the um once you, you go out from, from the doctor office, you go and buy an ice cream with Nutella. I don't know, something like that. So let's go to the information for today. The vibration for today is you, you, you. The statement for today is I am the steps of evolution. The code for today is the lower astral. The deepest part of the subconscious ocean is the dead level of gravity of or of the web of gravitational webs of stars that portion is in the center of the world where the most pressure is generated and that shapes the idea of an energetic trap that we tend to call hell actually it is the denser part of the energetical level where we see ourselves trapped only if our vibration is equivalent to it. Let's go to the alignment. Relax. I focus in my breathing. As I let all the weight of my body fall down. I become aware of the place I find myself in and use my imagination to create a library around me full with books and galleries. I become aware that this library is within my subconscious and all this information and data is all the patterns, experiences, beliefs that I had accumulated through history. All of them are recorded here for this are my own Akashic records and I am its only and unique librarian.
I recognize that I am here in these registries. With one intention, to find a data useful for my process here and now. This data is related to that polarity that I hadn't been able to use and became a duality. My intention is to find this information of that duality that holds me trapped outside my axis. I feel myself called by this information. So I let myself be pushed to it through the galleries, through the books, searching for it. And as I find it, as I find the reason, the pattern of my duality, I take it without any judgment and watch it within my hands. I go now to the main hall, walking stairs of my unconscious, heading to the office of my conscience, where I am heading to bring clarity, consciousness, to this pattern that I hold. I go through the stairs of my evolution, watching every life and experience, sights, as I recognize that every step that I give is a positive and a negative, positive and negative, life, death, life, death. Once I am in the office, I am surrounded with light and clarity. So I decide to open the book to see what is that pattern of duality that I am supposed to transform again in polarity.
take a deep breath and I take this book to my sacrum chakra pronouncing my vibration I recognize, I set my intention to transform this pattern, pattern of duality into a tool for polarity. I use, I use, I use. I watch to the stairs behind me as I recognize that one of the steps of evolution through polarity create my axis. I am the stairs of evolution. I am the stair of evolution. I am the stair of evolution. I am polarity. Take a deep breath and begin to bring this consciousness all through the body by caressing, stretching and yawning. And each one at its own time start to come back here and now. So having this book opened, the task for today, the intention would be to write down all these dualities that we want to take back to polarity. Thank you everybody for being there as always and see you tomorrow at the same time.